What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Just Born Movies. I'm your host, David Ray. To my right is the special examiner guest, Paul Workman, the man of constant hatred. Too sweet. And to my left, I've got Manny Classic, also here. What up? So, Paul, preliminary examination, what did we see this week? We saw Avengers Infinity War. The Avengers are uh, out avenging, and they're attempting to stop Thanos from getting all the stones for the Infinity Gauntlet, which he's going to attempt to take over the universe with, so... Star is pretty much the litany of who's who in the MCU, minus the Ant-Man crew, um, and uh, Jeremy Renner. Uh, that's pretty much the only faces we're missing. Um, we don't see most of the Asgardians, because if you've seen Thor Ragnarok, you know where they're at. What was your uh, thoughts going in, before the credits started and everything? I wasn't a big fan of Age of Ultron, and I wasn't a big fan of Civil War. Uh, which, you know, the second one was Russo Brothers. But I did I did love the last three Marvel films so much, they're all three in my top five. So I was kind of a mixed bag, and I went in as blank a slate as I could, not expecting much of anything. And Manny? Yeah, I'm roughly in the same boat. Um, I, uh, I was hoping for the best, expecting the worst, honestly, because I also didn't care for Civil War or Age of Ultron. Uh, I love the shit out of uh, Black Panther, if you check that review. Can't talk highly enough about it. Um, Link below. So, you know, just went in hoping for a film along the lines of Black Panther or Captain America, Winter Soldier in terms of quality, but honestly expecting all the other last team-ups, so. Yeah, I think that's, that's pretty much where I was, too. The team-ups kind of left me a little wanting, especially Civil War. Um, it seems the Russo brothers want to step into big name territory, big topic territory, and instead of just jumping in and reveling in it, they're they're kind of tiptoeing into the water. Um, so going in, I tried to go in as blank as possible, thinking, you know, this is a 10-year culmination. We're going to see something big. We're going to see something heavy. So that's kind of where I went in, too. Now we get into the meat and potatoes, the, uh, the actual examination portions of this. Uh, overall, plot story-wise, I think it was a solid film. I feel this is a really pretty unbalanced film. Uh, it's It's got a lot of stuff that works, a lot of stuff that doesn't. It's got, a, it's got some plot lines, uh, subplots that are really, really good, and then some subplots that I could take or leave. There are brilliant subplots within this film and when those subplots are on screen it is some of the best work Marvel has done in the 10 years of this project that they're doing. Absolutely. There are subplots in this movie that I think are very close to the bottom of what they've done in this 10 years as well. Yeah. There's um I get it though there's so many characters that are attempting to make sure get on screen that some characters inherently have to take a back seat to other characters, but then there <coughs> are... It's pretty much the ones you expect to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. the ones that are the ones that are in the driver's seat are the ones that you expect to be in the driver's seat. Yeah. But inherently there are big damn characters that get plots that are lacking at best. There's even, there's even some plots that come back up that were mentioned or brought up previously like in Age of Ultron that just kind of get swept under the rug and yeah. that really should have been addressed. And there's a lot of things that happen off screen that I feel could strengthen this movie and we don't see them. Yeah, for all we know they're on the cutting room floor or somewhere else, but what about what about the actors and actresses, the casting? Do you think they did a I mean obviously casting they didn't really introduce anybody new besides Josh Brolin as Thanos. Um and, and the and the Prophet of Midnight, Corvus Glaive, and the other two whose names I still can't remember. Yeah, also you get Peter Dinklage in a role that I'm not going to tell you because it's it's fun. It, and he's Peter Dinklage, so yeah. You, yeah, he's yeah. real fun. Um, yeah, his, his his time on camera is... is Well maximized. Yes, and well worth it. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I'm not saying it's worth the price of admission, but they don't just cash in on his name. Right. Um... I think it's a relatively well-acted film. Um, like I said, there's just some subplots that don't do a single thing for me, so 
uh, at those points, I feel like the acting is awful, but I don't know if it's necessarily the actors in those roles or if it's just the writing for those particular subplots. At this point, I'm, I'm willing to go out on a branch and say, if you like someone in other films, you're going to like them in this one. If you don't like people in other films, you're not going to like them in this one. Uh, I don't know. There's yeah, a couple characters. Were, there's a yeah. couple characters that I actively hate more after watching this film that I thought were okay yeah. in other films, okay. and there's yeah, if, certain characters that I absolutely hate more and if I, I dislike them to begin with. So. If I was rating the characters, like I had a list of the Marvel characters, not the movies themselves, but where I rated them, there's definitely been some movement, some ups, some downs. Um, you know, I'll even be honest. I mean, he wasn't in the film that much. But because he wasn't in the film that much, he didn't get impacted, and Bucky kind of moved a little bit for me. You know, just because of the fact that he couldn't get worse or better. But let's take a moment to talk about Thanos and Josh Brolin's performance, because I think that's the heart of this movie, is his performance. I don't want to say that, that Brolin's the MVP, but he brings a lot to this film. Yeah, but I think the, but Thanos is the storyline. Yeah. Thanos and he, his arc is the story of Infinity War. He ties down the film really well. Um, when when he's on screen, you believe everything he's doing. Brolin, Brolin was a good get for this, and he definitely brings a lot of pathos to the, to the part. Yeah, um... He, I think, uh, more so than anyone else, is a fully fleshed out three-dimensional character mm -hmm. in this film. Um, and just like me and Paul have talked about it in a couple other reviews, that inherently villains should make you question your own morality as to what whether what they're doing is right or wrong and i think uh josh brolin stanos does that in this film does he, very he good just to be like I, hey what i'm doing here's the logic behind it and the fact that you guys aren't willing to see this logic does not make sense to me so i'm just going to show you through force why this logic is applicable you, you know we had a great villain with thanos and then the last villain was absolutely amazing, too, that we had, which was Killmonger mm -hmm. and Black yeah. Panther. Yeah. yeah. I mean, those two characters are were, were absolutely amazing. Yeah. Um, I, I think, outside of the Netflix shows, they're the, the two best villains in the Marvel first right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I'm, I'm sorry, David Tennant is the best Dave, David, man. David as, Tennant as, and Wilson yes. Fisk. Uh, yeah. Vincent D'Onofrio is Wilson Fisk. Probably. Wilson well, so Fisk is probably my favorite villain right now, honestly. Yeah, he he mm -hmm. does a phenomenal job. So let's shift gears now that we're done talking about acting and Thanos and kind of how he ties it down to the rest of the movie itself. The camera work, the cinematography, shot selection, setting. I like a lot of the camera work in this movie. There's there's especially some, some stuff near the end where the camera moves in certain ways, where I was like, wow, that, that was a really interesting shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there were a few times, like, they put you, they used the pan motion they really well, mm -hmm. because it, it put, made me feel like I was in the scene versus watching the scene. Yeah. Um, sometimes the, that, that panning back and forth, I get lost in it, because it, it takes me out, but there were a few times that it felt like, in this movie, it kind of put me more into the scene. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I love the depth and the scope that we get in a lot of the... Uh, especially the stuff in outer space or off of Earth as a planet. Uh, there's a lot of really great shots that allow you to see these kind of alien worlds as huge expanses that exist. Um, and they do really well <coughs> with uh, CGI and... VFX to make sure that it doesn't look like you're on Earth. It just doesn't look like, oh, well, you know, they're they're in Boston and they're just pretending this is somewhere else. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, there's a couple wonky parts of uh, CGI, especially when it comes to Iron Man and uh, Spider-Man. Their respective suits get a little off-kilter with the amount of movement in the some of the battles and stuff like that, mm -hmm. but overall it's really well done, really well shot. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think it's crisp and clean. Uh, the special effects, CGI, even some of just the basic visual effects yeah. I think they did really well with. I'll say Thanos looks amazing. 
Mm -hmm. like, yes. it, it, you see him in the trailers and he looks really good. He, he never stops looking good through the entire film. He's a, he's a really well-made character. Yeah. I think that it's definitely well done all around. Right. Um, yeah, I think they even even the other scenes where uh, I won't get into the spoilers portions of it, but we get a scene where it could have looked really bad because of who was in the shots, but they did a good job with with perception and, and such to make it look as a cohesive scene. So, mm -hmm. um, and staging is always really good. They they frame they frame characters and shots really well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, there's 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 a moment with uh, some of the Avengers at Avengers HQ that looks the the way they just have everybody staggered around the room looks excellent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah they did a really good job with that. Um, Music wise, I think the music did a really good job setting tones when they needed to shift tones. It wasn't a jarring music shift. Um, Alan Silvestri did the uh, the music for this, and I think he did a pretty good job. But I don't think it was near as good as the work he did on a uh, Ready Player One. No, I, I would agree with you on that. Um, yeah, there were some scenes where the music kind of got lost, but I think overall, that's that's that, most Marvel gonna, films. Yeah, it's gonna happen with. Especially action sequences and explosions and stuff. The, the one time I was actually really excited by a music cue in the entire film was uh, when they go to Wakanda. And I don't, I don't think it's too spoilery to say they go to Wakanda and you get, a, you get the Wakanda theme. It was really cool. <laughs> I have to say, you, you see it in a couple of the trailers there in Wakanda, so... Yeah. yeah I, I, You're not losing anything there. Yeah, so I, I just told you a music cue, but it's a, it's a really good music cue and I feel like you should be excited about it too. Mm-hmm. So what do we think, besides the plot issues, was there anything else that didn't really work for you guys? Unfortunately, there's a lot that doesn't work for me in this film, and it's all spoilery. So I don't, no I don't want to go into, I don't want to go into anything. Just, just know that there are plot elements in this film that I absolutely hate. I man of constant hatred. Man of constant hatred. I could not stand some of the decisions they made, and uh, it. It took me out of the film too many times. Yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't entirely dislike this film because, like I said, what works really works. Yeah, absolutely. But what doesn't really, it it, it just teeter, just seesaws through the entire film. Manny, what do you think? Yeah, I'm roughly there at the same uh, thing as Paul. There's, like I said earlier, there's really, really great stuff. That's the some of the best stuff in Marvel that they've put out. There's some things that are just awful I wish weren't in this film. Outside of those couple spots of visual effects with some wonkiness between the, the suits, um, I don't really see fault with any of the cinematic stuff, any other plot points that we're not going to get into here. Uh, music, I think, is average. I really didn't... While I didn't particularly notice it I did not not notice it either just kind of existed so um, yeah, like whenever the Avengers theme kicks in you 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 right, hear yeah. it right away but yeah, yeah it happens I, I, I agree with you there were some things that were done really poorly there were some things that were done amazing that you know I know at the end of the movie we we kind of ran the diatribe of where we were at by the end of the movie um, I was definitely the one leaning forward in my seat. Uh, and I enjoyed pretty much most of it, but I think the parts where you guys were disappointed and I was disappointed with, maybe not to the same level, but definitely think that it's still overall a solid solid Marvel, addition to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, I don't know about solid. I mean, it's not, it's not vision phasing through walls. but Or, I, or I lifting would, Mjolnir. I wouldn't call it solid. So, well, that brings us to our, our final examiner's reports. Why don't you go ahead and kick it off then, Paul? Um, again, it, it's a completely unbalanced film. There's a lot of bad things. There's a lot of good things. And when I was really in it, I was laughing. I was having a good time. And when I got taken out of it, I... I... Just kind of flash back to when me and Penny went and saw Civil War together. And I was just like, this is a movie, I guess. Yeah. Um, I, I try not to get sucked up in hype, but when something, when you're 
18, 19 movies into a franchise and uh, 16 TV shows into a franchise and this is supposed to be the culmination of all of that and it doesn't culminate well, it, it feels like a letdown no matter what you're going to do. Um, that being said, I enjoyed myself enough to not just completely dump on the film. Uh, we're going to be releasing a spoiler review next week that I hope you enjoy, I hope you watch, but uh, without going to spoilers, it, it's, it's a really average film. Um, so damn average, it's just... Mm. Manny? Yeah, um, so there's, there's flashes of real brilliance. There's flashes of overreaching and just real mediocrity in terms of the script and things like that. Um, I don't know if it's that the film is too ambitious for its own good with the cast of characters and things like that. Um, cinematography, I think, is probably some of the upper half of cinematography in Marvel films. Um, like I said, the music is... If you're paying attention, you notice it's there. If not, I am going to give one spoiler here, just so you're not waiting around. There's only one end credit scene. Don't sit around waiting for two or three of them. There's only one. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but there, there's one. And it's at the very end of the credits. Yeah. Yeah, there is no mid credit scene. Um, in terms of, I guess, on the scale, I gotta go damn average, man. It's just... It's a middling film. Um... There's good stuff, there's bad stuff, it's... Hopefully it gets resolved with, uh... The... Whatever Avengers 4 is going to be, uh, but... For what it is right now, it's... It's average. Now, I'm gonna be the odd one out. I'm much more on the hype train, but I think that's because I was a lot more emotionally invested in the characters. Um, all of them. Uh, we all know where Paul sits on RDJ as Tony Stark. Uh, yeah, he's shaking his head. I see him there. Once again, Paul is wrong. Um, but uh, I think the good outweighed the negatives enough for me to bump it up. Um, you guys both gave it damn average. I think with the performances we got from some of the, some of the stars in this film and everything, I'm going damn great with it. Um, I just can't can't get past some of the things that were so well done in this film. I can't knock it below that. There, there's quite a bit. Uh, so with that said, there it is. Avengers Infinity War. Two damn averages and a damn great. Uh, feel free to let us know what you think about it down in the comments below. <coughs> As always, uh, please uh, like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to let us know, or well, let you know rather, when new uh, videos are getting posted. Feel free to also jump on over to our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash drinking age movies if you want to support us to get some original content out there and maybe even upgrade some of our equipment. And, and uh, as always, I want to thank Manny and Paul for joining me today. And until next time, keep rolling. <laughs> <laughs>